Killjoy. <laughs> Just joking. It's <laughs> I wish I was Killjoy. He's so cool. Oh, it's Pennywise, of course. You know, I wish I really wish I was Killjoy. Don't you think I'd be cool as Killjoy? Oh my God, Killjoy is rocks, man. He's the best. You know, he's the best. Oh yeah. Well, I want to dedicate this webcast again to Kara C. Oh, she used to be a friend of mine. Now she just wants to rip my goddamn face off. She's not, you know, she hates my guts, but I, you know, I still try to be friends with her and everything. But, you know, she seems, she just thinks I'm a demented fool and clown, whatever you want to call, you know, call me. Uh, but I still, I still care about her very much. And I wish she would try to be friends with me again and call me and, you know, and stuff like that. So, well, hi, Kerosene. Well, you know. Call me, please, please. No, I know you won't, but I do try. I do try. I do this all for you. You know, later on we're gonna be reviewing a uh, a really cool movie. This one, remember this movie from 1981? It's called Dark Night of the Scarecrow. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Pennywise is getting drunk again. Fuck, I am I'm hammered tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm hammered. Hey, I'm going to show you something, too, fans. There's Michael Myers. Let's go take a look at Michael. Oh, there's Michael in the back. Yeah. He's watching my back. Can you see him back there? I'm looking all smug and everything. And his, his, uh, his blue overall jumpsuit and everything. You know, he thinks he's so cool. You know, I just, and there's my little baby, and there's my spider web behind me. We're going to have another victim in there pretty soon. <laughs> oh, Claire, yeah, would you like to come on over? Let's share a bottle of, uh, of uh, Chapaldi. <laughs> what the fuck this thing is called? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> oh, please, please, come on. It's great stuff. You get hammered. And then you can just stagger home. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, got these flowers again for you. Hope you like them. I know you don't care, but I hope you like them anyway. Let's tilt this camera down and view me, because I'm the most important person in this webcast room. <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> hey, I got something to show you. You know, I mentioned that we're going to be bringing in a couple new clowns to do some movie reviews, and Here's one of their uh, outfits. Isn't this cool? Oh my god. It's got blue tussles and red orange tussles. And this is what he's going to be wearing. I can't reveal his name, but he's pretty frightening. You all, your hair all turned gray. When you see this guy, he's going to scare the living shit out of all of you. <laughs> I like that. I feel evil tonight. <laughs> oh, Kara, Kara, you like this? Here, you can come over and you can come over and wear this if you wanted to and be a clown if you wanted to on my webcast. If you wanted to, you know, but you probably don't, so I don't know. I guess I'll just have to give this back to our new clown. I stole it from him tonight. He's butt naked in the back. <laughs> He's got no clothes on because I got his little pajamas and food. Oh, yeah. Fuck him. Oh. I still have my, I still have my lovely hands. I like these hands. I got two of them. I got two of them, of course, you know. But uh, I don't know. I put it on for you to demonstrate again. But uh, oh, it's too cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of look like? Yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Would you like some dates? I got some dates for you. I know you're a big dates fan. You know, you love dates. I remember you used to tell me you, you ate dates all the time. I got these all for you. I bought like a uh, gross of them, like a whole box of these for you. So you could take home and nibble on while you watch movies at night in bed. You know, and uh, yeah, I still have to suffer for you and everything, you know, but I just. I know you'll never call me, I know you'll, you'll never say hi to me again, and, you know, I know, I guess I just have to face reality, you know, I know you want to rip my nose right off, you want to, you know, you want to, 
you know, rip all my hair out. And you know, I'm already going bald right here. Don't rip much more off because I'm already bald. Can you tell? I'm starting to bald. Yeah, so this is for you, Carol. I hope you like it. Oh, I think, oh, hang on for a second. I've got something really cool I'm going to show you. Hang on. Yes, I my bathroom is right over here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna show you something really cool. I know you've seen this in the background, but I'm gonna show you up close and personal. Oh, check this out. This is my this is my face in a jar. Isn't this cool? Can you all see that? Yeah, that's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it's a pickle head in a jar. There's the mouth and there's the nose. I can't tell you who this is, but you know, oh, we beheaded him one night and we, you know, took all his brains out in his skull and we put a skinhead right back into this jar of, uh, of uh, pickling juice. It's kind of reddish, orange, yellow, so it's kind of cool, isn't it? See, look at he's going, hey, baby, I want to kiss. Yeah, maybe not, huh? Okay. Maybe next time. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, I ate one of those goddamn suckers a couple of nights ago. I tried to offer to all you people, but you didn't accept it. So I ate one of the chocolate ones, you know, and uh, I'm pretty upset that I couldn't give you a sucker, you know. Uh, what else can we talk about before we talk about the movie? I don't know. Let's talk about me for a couple minutes. Why do people hate me? I mean, what have I done, you know? Just because I eat children and stuff doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Well, I'm a good clown. I just, I'm just misunderstood. You know, I'm just, and I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we're going to be getting a new webcam, too. A little bit wider, uh, wide angle. So we can, oh god damn, I got, I got a god damn, no way that we fucking, god damn it, where's that hell? Oh. Alright, that's better. I think, I think it was blowing a hole in my brain. I don't think there's much in there, inside this skull. I don't think there's much of a brain in there, but, uh, people say I got my brains, but I actually am pretty smart. Still got my glasses, you know, and, uh, should we wear those for a while? Yeah, why not? There you go. Yeah, they don't fit very well anymore. I don't know why. I think my head's crooked. Oh. Oh. Anyway, tonight we're going to be reviewing a very special movie from 1981. I know all of you are going to scoff at this. You're going to go, it's a TV movie. You know, one of those classics from 1981. I know all you're going to do is stop at this and you're going to make fun of this movie. You're going to go, oh, it's a stupid, it's not got no blood in it, no gore. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's dated. But it's a classic. It's called Dark Night of a Scarecrow. Remember this movie? 1981, it was a TV movie. It starred Larry Drake as uh, this big, goofy kid, 36-year-old kid that had the mind of a five-year-old. And then it has Charles Durning as this pathetic, evil postman. You all hate mailman, right? <laughs> we all hate Three homes, we hate Give me three homes, we hate postman. Ha, uh, uh, uh. That sounds pretty good. Okay. I'm not being stupid tonight. I'm just being childish. Anyway, there's the cover. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, look at that cover. Oh, that cover. Yeah. So anyway, Larry Drake plays this 36-year-old, 5-year-old, uh, you know, country boy. And he befriends this little 10-year-old girl, and they're always, they're just friends. He's just a big old dumb kid. 36-year-old kid, you know, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I got some, uh, Got some kind of a 
roaches in my throat or something. So, so basically, uh, so one day he's taking her home, you know, because she lived in, it's kind of like a country movie, you know, a little rural town, you know. And basically, uh, he takes her home and she gets attacked by this dog and of course she gets mauled, but she doesn't die. But basically, the town folks, they hate him anyway, so, especially these four, this one particular redneck, Charles Turney. <coughs> So he, you know, she's in the hospital, and they don't, they think she's died, so they go after Larry Drake, and they chase him back to his farm, and, you know, his mother's trying to protect him, and basically, she tells him to go hide before they get there. They're like, they got their shotguns, and they the overhauls, they're like, they're like farmers, basically, corn farmers, and poop farmers, and all kinds of stuff like that. They, they harvest poop. You know, these four guys, basically, they're like businessmen, you know. So they find him in a cornfield, hiding inside of a scarecrow costume, hanging on a pole, you know. Like, he thought he would disguise himself, but, you know, they look at him closely, you can see his eyeballs inside the scarecrow mask, you know. So the bastards start, they shoot him like 30, 40 times, killing this poor guy, man. He's scared shit, but he was hanging there. You know, when they know he's in there, so they just start shooting him because they just want to kill him because they think he's evil and he's actually a really nice guy. You know, he's just friends with the little girl, nothing more. There's nothing weird going on, you know. And so basically they kill him and of course they cover it up. You know, they go to trial basically and they're acquitted. Of course, do redneck fuckers. <laughs> what do you expect? It's, you know, it's out in the boondocks, you know, out in, out in corn country. So basically, they uh, they get acquitted because there's no evidence that they killed them. And, you know, it's their word against Larry Drake's word, big dumb kid. You know, so they go they go scot free basically. And so that's that's when the mistake happens because after you know they start the scarecrow starts picking them off one by one. You know, <laughs> oh, it's still raining. It's been raining for goddamn fifteen days straight. God damn it! Oh, I didn't mean to raise my voice. <laughs> Fuck all you. I'll just do whatever I want. This is my webcast now. By the way, I, I think I might have, uh, uh... Spidey's not coming back, I don't think. Not for a while. This is my webcast now. Mine! 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 Hoo! Hee! Hoo! Ha! Hoo! 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 Hee! Hoo! Because I have a cell phone, I have control of the webcast. But anyway, I'll get back to the story. So, you know, there's like four of these idiots. One of them gets chopped up in his, uh, his weed whacker machine, you know, one of those wood chip, giant wood chipping machines that, you know, chop up branches and stuff, industrial size one, you know, for the farm. He gets thrown in there, he gets... <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Doesn't really show too much, but you know, you can you can hear him screaming as he's being sucked into it, being chopped up in thousands of little pieces, you know, for the, you know, whatever. It's pretty cool. Then one guy dies by, uh, he suffocates to death. He, he gets stuck in a silo, his corn silo, and the door won't open. And of course, the corn comes down and basically drowns him. <laughs> his fat slob gets exactly what he deserves. And Oh, God. The worst person is Charles Durden. He ends up... There's, there's a two left people. They're the only two left him and this other kind of duty farmer guy that was the part of the killing. So they, they dig up the Larry Drake's body to make sure he's actually dead because they don't believe that he's he's committing these other murders in the, in the town. You know, they're two friends. So basically, he, they dig him up and they find out that his body is actually still in the coffin. Of course it is. His spirit is in the scarecrow, you know. You know, vengeance is a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> Be careful who you kill because they could come back and get you. Just like Larry Drake did in the Dark Knight and Scarecrow. Well, anyway, so basically, they cut, you know, Charles Dirty and he bashes one of the guys over the hill. The guy that's helping dig up the body. And he buries him alive, of course. So Charles Durning is the only one off. Charles Durning is a real scumbag in this movie, man. You all know who Charles Durning is. He's been like in hundreds of movies. Uh, I think he passed away about 10 years ago or something. He's a cool actor. He 
no one plays a crap. <laughs> this movie sees always a crap, a redneck crap. You would recognize him instantly. Yeah, we love his movies. He's been around for like 30, 40, 50 years doing movies. Anyway, he's a postman, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aren't they all evil anyway? <laughs> postman. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> my Oh, I gotta put this movie down. Hold on for a second. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Am I freaking you out? Good, because I'm trying to freak you out. Let's do this. This is even cool. Eat, 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 would that be so cool? <laughs> all of a sudden you look up and the chair is rocking and I'm sitting in it looking at you sleeping. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. With a knife in my hand. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be so cool. Yeah. I'd probably wake up and want to play cards with the with the clown. That's what I would do. Anyway, enough of that shit. I think I've made my point there. Kind of creepy, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Back to the movie. So anyway, Charles Durning is a postman, and he's a, com he's a complete fucking slime. Complete fucking slime. And uh, he gets killed, of course, in the end. He gets, you know, he actually gets killed by the scarecrow. You know, he gets pitchfork right in the belly. <laughs> That's just a great ending. You know, and he just collapses on the ground with about, you know, ten different holes inside of his stomach, you know. He, and he dies and so on. But anyway, they, in the movie, there's this little girl, of course. She's one of the main parts of the movie. She's really creepy. She knows that uh, uh, Bubba's come. That's his name, Bubba. The kid that died. The old man that died. The kid that already come. His name is Bubba. She knows he's coming back and killing all these people as a scarecrow. So she's really creepy. I don't know what her name was, but, uh, oh, she's really fucking creepy. <laughs> you don't want to have her as your neighbor. Don't want to get on her bad side. Because uh, she'll send a scarecrow after you. Yeah. <coughs> 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 oh, sorry. Anyway, this is actually a pretty damn good movie. You know, like I said, it's 1981. It's a TV movie. It's got a lot of atmosphere. It's got a really creepy setting. It's got, you know, good acting. You know, a lot of people have forgotten about this movie, but it's actually a, kind of a classic for TV. Came out in 1981, made for TV. And I would recommend this movie if you like scary, kind of creepy scarecrow movies. I remember seeing this movie when I was a little wiener clown, you know, way back in 1981. This movie basically was, uh, you know, it kind of scared the kajeebers out of me when I was a little tyke. You know, a little clowny boy. Still about half my size and everything, you know. And uh, I'm going to rate this movie fairly high because I think it's a, it's well worth having a new collection if you like scarecrow movies. I mean, you know, there's not really much gore in it and stuff. It's it just, it just kind of like creepy. You know, night times on farms and things walking around that you can't see, the scarecrow and stuff, you can hear them walking, and, you know, tractors starting by themselves and, you know, machinery chasing people through fields and trying to kill them, you know, that's what he's doing. Because he just wants to kill these poor son of a bitch that keep poor son of a bitches that killed him. So basically, he gets his revenge, of course he's alive at the end, and he, he gives a little flower to the girl, you know, his little best friend, and that's how the movie really ends, so. This is a good movie, though. <laughs> very good movie. I would really recommend this movie. I normally don't give very good reviews to movies, but I'm going to give a good review of this movie. Need a toy pop. Anyway, 
so I don't make him lose one to ten. Oh, I don't know so. I don't go take I gotta go blow some gas. Too much. I don't think you can smell it. It's really a doozy. It stinks so bad that I think Michael Myers could put a, a plastic bag over his head, he told me. <laughs> oh, I just feel gross tonight. I just feel like I want to gross everybody out. <laughs> oh, whatever. So, anyway. <coughs> Out of 10 balloons, I'm going to give this movie a 7 because I think it's a class 7 balloons. But I think it's well worth. <coughs> oh, sorry, I kind of dozed off there. Okay, let's get back to the movie. Now, this movie starts out with uh, Charlie Turning and these 40. Oh, we already talked about that, didn't we? Okay, I think we're talking about ratings. Let me give this movie a seven balloons because I think it's a really good movie. Hey! A seven! Let's see if we can do seven. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> I think I coughed up some chicken bones. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, a seven rating because I think it's worth having in your collection if you like good scary atmospheric scarecrow movies. There's better ones out there, but this one actually is pretty good. So basically, you can take my review and shove it if you don't like it, but that's what I think. That's what I think. Seven blues. That's what I think. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that movie. We don't have to go into any more details. It's pretty simple, it's right to the point. Good movie. Put it in your collection. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do this. Ha uh, ha. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> you guys want to? You guys want to come over for some of this shit? Pretty good. But I tell you, uh, <coughs> it's really good. I'll give you all a class of this. What is some poison in it? <laughs> oh, and then we'll stuff you and put you in, uh, you know, the back room. We'll, we'll kind of mummify you and, you know, taxidermy you and stuff like that. If you don't mind, you know, it's, it's up to you. you know. Oh, yeah, you got to come and drink some of this stuff. Pretty good. Oh, look at that. Yum, yum. Kind of tastes like uh, crepes. The cyanide in it. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Just a bunch of droppings. Oh, yeah, so. Okay, let's talk about me again. We're up to. Oh my god. Oh my god. The time, where's the time coming? It's already. It's already uh, 24 minutes into this. Oh god. Uh -oh. Hi! Nobody's fuck. <laughs> oh my god. So, what do you guys want to talk about? I want to talk about my evil brother, uh, Butcher. Fuck him. I don't know where the fuck he is. I think he's out killing somebody tonight. I think he's got a, he, he had a, he had a contract to fulfill, so, you know, he's got to take care of that tomorrow and stuff like that. And so. Oh. I should dress up like the scarecrow. He's pretty cool. Look at him. He's got a pitchfork and a creepy costume, and he's pretty cool. Oh, so what you guys been up to? Tell, tell, tell your other new psychiatrist. Tell me what you've been up to. <coughs> I'm gonna go take some cough medicine. Hang on. Bye.
Peekaboo! 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 Oh, what happened? Anyway, we got that new cloak. I wonder what that cost him. I showed you so. He's gonna scare the living shit out of all of you. <coughs> he's really creepy looking and he's just evil. Plain evil. He puts me to shame. Oh, so what you guys been up to? You put up to anything good? Or you can tell me your problems. You know, just consider me your psychiatrist. Go ahead. Tell me what you tell me what your problems are. You know, you know. Post a comment. And I'll give you a reply. You know. Oh God. Okay. You don't want to do that. Fuck all you then. <laughs> My hair is getting kind of freaky, isn't it? I'm thinking about changing the color of my hair to green. What do you think about that? Do you guys like that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, don't forget, no love. Let's go take a tour of the studio. Come on. Oh, my damn shoe's coming off. Let's go fuck with Michael Myers. Come on, let's go fuck with him. He's such a dick. Some what they used to be. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, so basically, I'm done with this goddamn uh, webcast for tonight. So, you guys take my advice, and if you want to, if you want to rip my face, I don't want people wanting to kill me recently. So, I'm starting to get over my phobias and everything. <coughs> So basically, I'm starting to get a little better, you know, and getting back to my old chipper self, you know, and, you know, basically, well, a bunch of these girls wanted to come over and rip my face off, like, about a week and a half ago. Literally, they wanted to skin my, skin me, skin my face right off my, off my skull, you know, really skin the living shit out of me. I can't tell you the names, but I used to work with them, and they basically hate me. No. Oh, you try to be friends to people and they turn around and want to kill you. I did. I can't go figure. You know, I just don't know what the fuck that's all about. You know, I gotta put the fucking bugger on my nose. So, you know, but you know, don't want to fuck with me because payback is a bitch. <laughs> I'll come. I'll come and get you. Oh, uh, trust me, I know. I know where all he lives. <coughs> I'll send Michael. Michael would love to come and talk to you about harassing me. Uh, and he will protect me. So, I mean, we're going to get to lunch. So, you guys have a lovely night, remember? Good movie. Check it out. Seven, seven, seven butts. I think we're going to go with butts. I think we decided to go with butts instead. We'll go butts. Seven butts out of ten butts. Dark Knight the Scarecrow. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. So, until next time, you guys have a lovely night. Remember, I'll be under your bed haunting the shit out of you while you're sleeping, okay? Just remember that. Keep one eye open while you're sleeping. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>